Hello, young mathematicians. Today, we're going to talk about multiplication, or as many of you say, times. This here is the times symbol. I'm sure that you've seen it. Later on, next year, you're gonna learn about other kinds of times symbols, but right now, this is the multiplication symbol. Um, and the one thing that I want you all to know is what multiplication is. Multiplication is repeated addition. And you might be thinking to yourself, wait a minute, no, multiplication is times, addition is plus. Well, in math, that's what's interesting is that some of the equations we do and some of the formulas we do are just different versions of something else that we already know. That is very common in mathematics. So let me give you a concrete example here, all right? I'm gonna pretend something. I'm gonna pretend that I have a bunch of chickens at home. I don't actually have chickens, I have cats, but I don't have chickens, but let's pretend I have chickens. And my chickens, they laid a bunch of eggs, like a bunch. And I decided that I have so many eggs that I'd like to share them with my neighbors. And I have three neighbors that I wanna share them with. And I have five eggs that I wanna to give to each neighbor. So here's a bucket. Don't laugh, I'm a terrible artist. Actually, that wasn't too bad, right guys? Here's bucket number, in a minute. I wanna make them equal sizes. Ah, uh, as you all know, I'm not exactly the best artist in the world, although I guess this isn't the worst, is it? All right, so hopefully you can tell that those are buckets. And inside these buckets are, let me move this thing over. How do I move this? Ah, okay, I can't seem to move it. We said five eggs, so that's one egg, two egg, three egg, four egg, five egg. Hopefully those look enough like eggs to you. One egg, two egg, three egg, four egg, five egg. It's five eggs. One egg, one egg, two egg, three egg, four eggs, and five eggs again. So I've got five eggs for each of my three neighbors. All right? So now... A friend of mine said, how many eggs did you give away in all? How many eggs did you give away in all? Well, I said, well, I gave five eggs to one neighbor. Then I gave another five eggs to another neighbor. And then I gave another five eggs to my other neighbor, three different neighbors. Now let's see, five plus five plus five. That actually, let's count them. Let's count them. Uh, what color? I'll do pink actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I gave away fifteen eggs in all. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Another way to think about this is to use multiplication. Multiplication is basically saying, uh, I'm going to run out of space, so I need my handy dandy eraser here. So if we did five plus five plus five, actually, let me write it on top here. Oh, okay. Let me go back to my color. Where did my colors go? Okay. Let's do it up here. So we have five plus five plus five equals 15. Hopefully you can see that. Now, another way to think about it is that I have three groups of five. Three times five, that's the multiplication equation. Three groups of five is three times five and we already know it's 15, we counted. Now you're gonna be learning your multiplication facts. Some of you even know a few of your multiplication facts. But 3 times 5 is 15, and that's the basic idea behind it. Now, you all have used counters in the past, or these little block or square counters. 
Let's think of another example here. Let's pretend I have, hmm. Well, I'll tell you something that I really like and they're cupcakes. Let's pretend I have some cupcakes that I've made and I decide that I want to give them to some friends of mine. I have a friend named Sarah. I have a friend named Lisa. And I have a friend named Maria. Okay? And I decide I'm going to give each of them three cupcakes. So Sarah gets three cupcakes. Lisa gets three cupcakes. And Maria gets three cupcakes. And then my friend says to me, my, my friend Maria says, thank you so much for these cupcakes. How many cupcakes did you make in all for us? Well, let's do the math. I gave three to Sarah plus three to Lisa plus three to Maria. We're gonna count them. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so the answer is I made nine cupcakes in all. And if we're gonna do the multiplication equation, it's three groups of three, or three times three, and that equals nine. Now, one thing I've noticed is that students learn multiplication in different ways. Some kids just like to memorize their multiplication facts, and that's it, and they, they understand conceptually what it is. And some kids, they really like the visual drawing pictures to help them understand. Let me tell you something. Whatever method works for you is what you should do right now. So if I say, all right, kiddos, I have three classes today, and in each class I have 10 students, and each one of them is going to get a cookie, okay? Well, here you might notice these, that these look familiar. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cookies there. Okay, these probably look familiar to you. So let's pretend I've got my first, ah, I can't write. Let's say, okay, let's say to you, that, let's say this is the, the, the question I have. I have three classes. Each class has 10 kids. Each kid will get one, let me make it this, let me, let me make it like this, one cookie today. How many cookies should I make? Well, let's check it out. How many cookies should I make today? I have three classes. That's one group of 10. So this is class one, this is class two, this is class three. I have another class, that's another 10 kids, and I have another class, that's another 10 kids. Now, to write the multiplication equation, I'm going to say I have three groups of 10, th or three times 10, and that equals 30. So I need to make 30 cookies. And that's basically, oopsie doopsie, what did I do there? Um, that's basically, that's basically it. Um, you know, where multiplication really gets interesting is when we deal with bigger numbers and we are going to do a lot of multiplication. We're um, gonna start with our multiplication facts. Here, right here, I have a block of 100. And eventually I'm gonna say things to you like, I have, uh, you know, um, 100, 100 people. Uh, okay, there are two parties with 100 people each. And I need to make, I need to make, um, I need to make, uh, let's see, what am I making for everybody? I need to make, but I need to give everybody at the party um, bananas. Okay, that is really random and weird. I don't know why we would have just a bunch of bananas at a party, but let's just pretend everyone at, the, at those two parties gets a banana 
As you can see, you've got two groups of 100 people, and I would need to give, I would need to have a 200 bananas ready. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. I cannot wait to see you again in class where we are going to really work hard on our multiplication facts. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Till next time.